What is up guys, it is Zach Plochet, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up dynamic settings in a Django project using the Django Dynamic Preferences Python package. So let's jump into it. First thing I'm going to do is, of course, create my folder. So we're going to call this uh, Dynamic Settings Project. Why not? Good enough. Open this with VS Code. Now we're going to create our virtual environment. Not in PowerShell, though. Let's see if we can delete PowerShell. All right. So now pip env shell. Now that that's created, we're going to pip install Django and Django dynamic preferences, like so. All right. So now that we have uh, these packages installed, we can go ahead and create our project. So start project config dot. All right, so that was created. Um, let's go ahead and add our app here. Let's see. So we're going to go into settings. We're going to create uh, add the following into our installed apps. So let me shorten this a bit. Bloop. Go right here. And we're going to say uh, dynamic preferences, like so. If I can spell it correctly, dynamic. All right, awesome. And now that we have this, we can also create, um, well, honestly, um, we might not need anything else. Let's see. All right, so what we're going to do is create a really just simple project. So we're going to say um, we're going to create an app now. So Python manage.py start app. And let's call it um, uh sales or um, let's say like service or something. So we're going to say service here. So now that we have our services here, uh, we're going to create a new file called dynamic, dynamic preferences, preference, oh my God, preferences registry.py, like so. And uh, let's see, dynamic preferences registry, right. And we're going to import a few things, and we're just going to build something basic. So we're just going to say the following from dynamic oops, dynamic preferences dot preferences, or uh, actually, um, oh yeah, okay. So yeah, we're going to say import section. We're also going to take this and uh, oh again with the typos preferences dynamic. Wait, that is spelled correctly. Okay, so the reason that these are still yellow. I'd imagine is because we did not set our Python interpreter into, um, or our, uh, we did not set our VS code to the correct Python interpreter. So I'm going to find the name of this project. So dynamic settings project, which is right here. Now that we add this, uh, so this one stops being that color and it should turn green pretty soon. Uh, dynamic, yep, preferences, preferences section. Sure. To, there we go. Okay. So now it's updated. Um, we're going to change this to a, let's see, we're going to have, we're going to say from dynamic preferences dot types import. And we're going to say, um, let's see, in our case, we're going to use the example of a decimal preference because we're just going to set some dynamic price on our website. Um, let's see. Another thing here is from dynamic, oh, dynamic preferences.registries import global preferences registry preferences registries there we go all right so now we have i think that's everything that we actually need so we're going to set this up and i'm pulling this straight from the doc so if you want to check those out i will leave them in the description below so um general so we're going to create a section first. So this is going to be a section for our settings. You can create more than one, but uh, we're only going to have one. And actually, even more, we can call this pricing, something like that. And we might do another example. Um, we're also going to say, uh, so now we're going to create our first preferences. So we're going to say global preferences registry dot register, register. And uh, yep, actually, that's just going to be that. Then we're going to say class, um, bada -bum. yeah, we're going to say class um, price. So let's say like you have a service and you have a general like price or hourly rate or whatever. Um, or you know what? 
we can actually write that. So hourly rates. We can say here, so we'll have that. We're going to write decimal preference here. And also, I believe we'll likely need, um, let's see, from decimal, import decimal from just Python in general. So that's already built in, so you don't need to pip install anything. We're going to set that here. Now we're going to add the following. So we're going to say which section we want this to show up in. So we're going to use general. Oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> we're going to say pricing here. So pricing, because we called this pricing. Um, now we're going to say the name is equal to hourly rate, like so. We're going to say the default. Default is equal to decimal. We're just going to say $0 just to start out. And um, required equals false. Actually, you know what? We're not going to add required equals false. We're going to have a, uh, we're going to make sure that something is there. So we will keep it like that now that that is added. All right, so what we're going to try to do is say, we're going to try to make migrations and migrate. All right, cool. So it looks like it worked so far. So let's go ahead and say, um, we're just going to run server. Oh, also, we're going to create a super user. So open up a new tab, pi manage.py create super user, username Zach. Uh, We'll just say username Zach. Email, we'll just skip Django123 for the password. And uh, yeah, now our server's running on the other side. So let's go there. Now that that's loaded, let's go to our admin. Going to say Zach, Django123. Global preferences. So we can see this right here. Uh, so our global preference was added. And uh, as you saw, there's no place to like add separate ones. You only have one just by default. So if I click here, um, we can see that global preferences are set. I'm going to click add one. So raw value is going to be, um, and actually, why zero, zero, zero? OK, so let's click Save. Right. What the hell happened here? Um, hmm. Let's see, I might have forgot. Oh, yeah, so I didn't actually add service here. So let's go ahead and add that one. Then we're going to say pi manage.py make migrations, double ampersand pi manage.py migrate. That way we can run both of those commands at the same time. So it says no changes detected here. Uh, why is that? It makes no sense. Dynamic preferences registry. We have everything I think we need. What about required equals true? Does that change something? Nope. All right, let's try to run server again. OK, so we're still logged in. OK, yeah, so actually, after we added that, it looks like, I mean, it looks like it was already created. But um, let's see. Yeah, so now it's actually working, and we have our global preference. So let's go ahead and set something like uh, $9 per hour or 9 Actually, you know what? Let's do something more accurate. So we'll just say 100 That's a bit nicer, or even a better goal. Let's say 1000 like some high-end consulting company uh, or consultant. I should say. So general hourly rate. Now we have this guy. Um, now let's see how to get this in our template. So we're going to create a basic home page. So I'm going to say templates slash um, home.html. We're going to add some basic stuff here. So h1, my hourly rate. And we're just going to say hourly rate right here. And I think there's an easy way to access that. Yeah, so we actually need to add one more setting to our settings file. And that would be underneath, um, let's see, inside of templates, underneath or inside of context processors. Um, let's see, below request, it's saying we need to say dynamic preferences dot processors dot global preferences, like so. And then we'll be able to access them inside of our template. So home 
index.html, we will be able to access these by, we'll be able to access these by writing the following. So we're going to say global preferences dot general double underscore hourly rate like so. And um, let's go ahead and connect this in a URL. So we're going to go to our URL config, delete this top comment because we don't really need it. And then say uh, from um, service dot, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, we need to build a view. So from service dot, or from service import views. And we're just going to say here, path to nowhere, and then say uh, views.home, name equals home, like so. Inside of here, we're going to create a view, a really simple view. So define home, request, return, oops, return, render, request, home.html, and uh, that should actually be, uh, yeah, that should actually be everything that we need. So let's see. If we open this, my hourly rate. Okay, so currently it's not here. And uh, why is that? So general hourly rate. Let's see. What did I not do correctly? General hourly rate. Prefer. Ah, I made a misspell. So I made a typo. Let's refresh once again. All right. Now we have our hourly rate there. If we want to put that in kind of a money output, we can say something like dollar dollar sign and boom. So now we have a nice place to change this in our settings. So uh, we can't make more than one, I believe. Um, yeah, so there's not a way to dynamically create these. They have to be created in your code specifically. Um, I do believe you can change the verbose name here. So like if we wanted to, we can also update inside of our dynamic preferences to say verbose name equals hourly rate like so let's go back do a refresh yeah so now you can see the hourly rate setting um there's probably a way to edit this but i'm just doing a simple tutorial so that's just showing you how to get anything that you want to make dynamic um if you have any questions about this package or anything i didn't cover because i was just trying to get it to where we're able to use these on the front end um yeah let me know and i will definitely make that video and update this one so Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, bye for now.